Hey guys, remember this carving we did not a few days back? Well, I'm going to show you once you power carve something how to clean it up with just just one little trick for now. All right, we're going to show you how to clean it up so you get rid of all them burrs and fuzzies. Here we go. Hi guys, Kevin here. Uh, did you ever power carve like right here? I got a rolling pin, and you power carve it, and you get your design on and stuff, and then it just doesn't look carved at all it just looks dug up like this you know i hate that and for years i was wondering how the heck can i smooth that down and get it a more hand carved look not this power carved look and uh so i got everything roughed out you know you can do the rough out like i said with uh in earlier videos with uh, a flame bit or whatever tool you decide to do your carving with but when you get these big pieces and stuff, you can hit it with sandpaper and it still looks nasty. So what I started doing to a lot of my carvings was experimenting with different bits. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, this is just a diamond ball, okay? And on something hard like this, it works pretty well in smoothing all that down and cleaning it up, okay? So what I'm going to do is go around this carving that I had already made and I'm going to show you how it cleans it up, okay? Here we go. See here in spots see all this dug up stuff see how nice that actually cleans it up <laughs> Now he's starting to look much, much better. He's a lot more clean, right? Easy to sand down now. Uh, I got to go around it a little bit more. But this right here is just one of the little tips that really help, all right? When you're trying to figure out how to get rid of those fuzzies and that dug up look. And now if I added a little bit more uh, detail with some tighter bits, you know, some maybe some uh, cylinder bits, some flat cutters and stuff, or even just hand tools on this, I could bring all the detail out. And if I have to get them fuzzies, well, then at least I can take a diamond ball and I can go around it. Sometimes a steel ball on hardwoods. This, I believe, is a maple rolling pin. It's pretty hard. So this diamond works pretty good in just cleaning it up. It's not going to do a lot of digging, but it is going to take those burrs off. Okay, and then we can start doing some detail. I'll actually show you how to carve one of these, and I'll show you the finished result. Uh, I'm working on a couple of these cottonwood barks back here. And messing around the shop and trying to get the videos a little bit better for you guys. A little bit better lighting. A workspace that I can have all my junk out of the way. And actually start doing some videos all winter. Uh, what I did do was... I took this uh, little piece here. And I... Remember the eye video we did? Well, I did that eye video a couple days ago. And what I ended up doing was putting uh, a little wood spirit at the bottom of it. And I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, oh, wow, geez. I don't know really what to do with the thing. And we just recently hit 6, 000, uh, 16,000, I'm sorry, 16,000 subscribers, which is was awesome on the channel. And uh, I really want to thank you guys for supporting the channel, especially longtime subscribers and those that are coming in recent to check out new videos. So I really want to thank you for that. And I'm thinking, you know what? We never did a giveaway on this channel. And... To tell the truth, I have no idea how to start one. I guess I'm going to have to pick from subscribers or maybe 
call for new subscribers to come in and put everybody's name in a hat and we'll randomly pull one out. I don't know. You guys are really going to have to give me tips on that because I really don't know the first thing about it. But I want to start doing giveaways on the channel. I want to do one a week maybe or one every other week, at least uh, two a month. And uh, start giving you guys little perks for coming in and supporting the channel, you know. So, I think I'm going to make this a giveaway item. This will be our first giveaway in celebration of 16,000 subscribers. And uh, give me some tips in the comments on how to do it. Maybe you've been on another, another channel. Maybe you've seen other contests. Maybe we could have a contest for it. I really have no idea. But uh, I do know I'm just probably going to randomly draw names out of a hat, but I don't know if you're subscribed or if you're not. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe if you want to see more carving videos because we're going to be putting a lot of them on. And definitely ask me questions. Uh, if I can help and I can answer it, I'll do everything in my power to answer it or make a video for you. Okay, but uh, this is made out of cottonwood bark. It's a neat little item. I mean, you know could be a good reference tool for just making an eye you know kind of like a study stick and uh we're gonna give them away so give me some ideas on how to do that if you see this video if you like it give it a thumbs up we are also going to cover how to carve a rolling pin a wood spared on a rolling pin to be precise <clears throat> excuse me and uh we'll do it all in power so you guys can see you know some of the techniques i use in that this guy right here i'm going to finish cleaning up since I'm tinkering in the shop at the moment, and I'm going to put some eyes and everything in them, and I'll get another one, and we'll do a whole video on how to carve a rolling pin with power, because I know it was suggested by a few subscribers. Okay? So, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video, and definitely let me know how we go away, how we go about doing a giveaway on the channel. Okay? Do we pick random names out of a hat? Uh... Whatever. I'll try to research it myself also. So thanks again, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, one more thing before I leave. Remember that big piece that we did in the walkabout video? I brought him home, took some pieces off of him with the chainsaw, and he's just rotten. He's rotten all the way through, guys, so I really can't uh, make a carving out of that, so we're going to have to do a different one. We're going to have to do another walkabout and try and find a piece of wood and carve it that day. But uh, right now the weather's cold. It's been raining again for a couple of days. Winter's setting in. So probably going to be here in the shop and working on some things like this. Maybe some Christmas items too. Okay. Enough said. I will talk to you later. Thanks for showing up. Maybe we'll do another live chat soon and we can talk about some things we can do on the channel like this. And uh, get you guys getting some carvings to your house. Thanks again for watching. See you later. Bye-bye now.